Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyana Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam amma ba'd Ahabita fillah assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh I'm sitting here with my man Abdul Haq Brown we go back history so as a further part of this series that we're doing talking about revert stories I thought it would be beneficial that our brother Bi'idnillah Ta'ala Abdul Haq that he shares a little bit of his uh, a little bit of his story so without further ado as I said we go back a lot of history walhamdulillah and trying to reestablish those connections inshallah ta'ala he'll, he'll share some of his his benefits so first and foremost assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh hayyakum allah so yeah ahi how how did you you come to islam what what led you on this beautiful path this beautiful journey because it's a life journey as we were just talking about yes, it is. yeah so what so what was your you know tell us about your story man so alhamdulillah bismillahirrahmanirrahim uh basically uh i was born in seattle washington um uh, and the way i came to this dean uh, Really, and and I and, and I have to say this truthfully was through was through uh, music. Okay, through music, finally. Uh, things like uh, when I was a teenager, listening to Public Enemy, listening to rap groups talking about Farrakhan, and I went through that phase of mm. you know seeing their representatives come come to Seattle and listen to them, you know, obviously Malcolm X, reading the, the autobiography of uh, al Haj Malik al-Shabazz, you know, no, you know Allah Allah. Um, and just having an interest in it, but not necessarily a, a, a desire to fully, you know, to fully commit to it. Mm. But what changed was in the mid-90s, as I, uh, as I began to be um, more off on my own and and, and, and looking at the world, I was raised Catholic, mm. um, but I had left that, and I wanted to find some spiritual guidance and uh, balance in my life. And I knew that it, it wasn't going to be through the Christian faith, mm. or, and especially not through the Catholic faith. I had been through Catholic school, I had even been confirmed in my teenage years, but it just was not, it was not something I was, I was going to kind of look towards. Mm. Uh, for that spiritual guidance, so I I, I turned back to uh, to looking at Islam, and by that time there was a masjid uh, near my home, mm. and I was doing music at the time. I was part of a collective uh, doing music, hip hop music. Okay, and what's a collective? You get it? Yeah, share was, with there us. There was a collective named uh, called Travel Productions. It was, okay. a, it was a, a, a pretty seminal and influential uh, group of. Of hip hop of groups and single acts that they okay. formed the collective okay. that we call tribal uh, productions, kind of like tribe uh, called Quest kind of thing, and the Jungle Brothers, all that. Right, right, okay. exactly like Got that. It. Okay, exactly okay. Like they were they were highly influential on mm. us. Uh, but two uh, two brothers uh, who were Muslim at that time and unfortunately are no longer. Allah uh, and one other who is still Hamdulillah. Hamdulillah. Uh, I started asking them questions. They had already taken shahada, mm. uh, and I started asking them questions uh, about Islam. I remember coming, uh, in fact, uh, one of the brothers, uh, we all drove in his pickup truck. He went to go to the UPS to go pick up uh, uh, his collection of the translation of uh, Sahih al-Bukhari. MashaAllah. And he had opened it, and I actually was reading mm. one of the books in the back of the truck and they said no bro you know read that out loud read yeah that. so i started reading things out loud mm. and and i don't remember off top what i what i was reading but i what i do remember is that what i was reading made sense to me mm. um and it piqued my interest even more mm. and i got a hold of a quran mm. and i read the quran and everything in the quran made sense to me as I said, I was raised Catholic, mm. went to Catholic school and everything, um, but my mother, uh, who was also raised Catholic and, and still is you know, a Catholic, but she never 
pushed Jesus on me. Mm -hmm. She never pushed that intermediary on me. She yeah. always talked about having uh, a personal relationship with God. Mm -hmm. And and I recognize that that singular um, uh, monotheism trait of monotheism mm -hmm. in, in, in in Quran. Of course, it's the primary trait yeah. of the Quran you know, of its call to humanity. Mm -hmm. It just it just became part of me, mm. and I started. Uh, I'm the type of person when I get interested in something, I kind of devour any kind of book or, yeah. or media, whatever on it. Mm. You know, I want to learn as much as I can about it, and I started doing that um, with Islam. I like that. Um, you know, getting books from the library, uh, borrowing books from uh, you know the Muslims that I knew, uh, continuing to read the Quran and, and then the commentary on the Quran. Uh, mm. the, that particular one I, I had. Um, uh, Probably Yusuf Ali or... In fact, I remember yeah, I think, that was a copy. I think, yeah. yeah, I think it was Yusuf Ali. I used to like that. Really. I still the, have a copy. Yeah, yeah, it was the one that came yeah. from Saudi at the time that before, okay. they, before they did the Muhammad Muslim Khan okay. translations exclusively. Okay. Okay. But it was that and there was commentary in there. Just So just things of this nature. And, and as I read, I just, I was like, this, this, this is it. This Allah is right what... There. This is what I want. I mm. want to have that personal relationship with, with, with Allah. And as I was reading, I understood, you know, about the five pillars of Islam. I Mashallah. understood about, you know, uh, fasting and, and, mm. and, and giving zakat and things of this nature. Um, at the time, I had a girlfriend. Mm. And I real <laughs> as I kept reading, I realized that obviously that that would have to be something that would have to mm. go. Mm -hmm. Alhamdulillah. Um, Alhamdulillah, you realized that at an early stage, yeah. Again. And, you know, Allah put me in a position where, you know, that went away naturally without much fitna. MashaAllah. Uh, alhamdulillah. So, at, at one point, I was in my apartment, and this was in uh, November of 1996. Mm. And I realized that, uh, that uh, if, I took, if I took this step, and I remember reading, actually, I remember read, hearing, actually, and I think it was from a... Uh, Either a Siraj Wahaj tape, okay, or it might have been from because uh, at the time I was I had I'd gotten some tapes, listening to tapes. Mm. So it, uh, the tapes that initially started me was you know Siraj Wahaj, okay. you know, some, some Hamza Yusuf, okay, and uh, uh, Bilal Phillips, mm -hmm. Sheikh Bilal Phillips, okay. And it, it was one of them that said I can't remember which, but it said that that uh, when when you accept or come close to accepting Islam, when you want to take your shahada, this is when you have to be careful that the shaitan is going to come to you mm. and want to, mm. to really, you know, push yeah. leaving that. Like, mm. no, no. Yeah. And I remember, and I remember that mm. as I was thinking about taking shahada, uh, the waswas came into my head mm. Mm. about, oh, well, you know, it's, it's going to be soon that you have to, uh, if, you, if, you, if you take shahada now, mm. You know, you're going to have to fast soon because oh. uh, Ramadan was just around the corner. It was only yeah. like a couple months away. It was like an early, was like an early January, something mm. like that, at mm. that time, mm. you know, for 97. Yeah. But I remembered what I had heard on the tape. Mm. And I said, this is the, this is Shaitan trying to give me was was. Allah like that. So, you know, and, and I realized that and I said, no, I'm going to take Shahada. I called up um, one of the brothers who had, um, you know, uh, been Giving, uh, giving me tapes, and, mm. Uh, mm. Uh, my brother Shah, okay. and I, I like called him up at his house, and I told him, I want to take Shahada. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Subhanallah, Allah, he he could not, he was screaming, wow. takfir, takfir, we was making takfir, 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 he was takfiring all over the place, Allah and, Allah and Allah at that time he was living <laughs> at his house, yeah. with his parents, and his parents were <clears> like, what are you doing, what are you, why are you screaming like this, yeah. and he just was so happy, Allahu Akbar, and, you know, and uh, yeah, I, sure. I believe that was on a Wednesday, uh, and so on Friday, I went to uh, Jamil Muslimin, the champ, we call it the champ master at that yeah, time. Yeah, that's where I took my shahada. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I took shahada, mm. uh, and I took shahada, uh, it was, Muhammad Jaban was supposed, Sheikh Muhammad Jaban was supposed to be there, but he wasn't there until the next day. Okay. I took it again the next day under under his hand, because mm. ev everyone was telling me, to take it, take it under the Sheikh's hand. Yeah. But um, I took it under uh, a brother's hand, and I can't, I can't remember the name, but I do remember he was from Sudan. Mm. 
Mm, really, really maybe Abdel Nasser. Remember, it was kind of short. Yes, uh, it was Abdel Nasser. Abdel Nasser. Yeah, very, he, taught me, he taught me to read Quran. Really, yeah. yeah. Beautiful Allah brother. Preserve him. I don't know where he's at. But yeah. And and I remember after I took Shahada. Yeah. Um, you know, everyone was you know takbir. You know. Yeah. And and brothers were, were just all coming up to, to give me these hugs. And, Allah Akbar. And to offer offer themselves, give their phone numbers. You know, mm. if you need anything, you know, to call me something. And I happen to remember, <laughs> there was one brother, he was a, he was a white brother in the uh, back, yeah. whose name was Ali. Uh -huh. um, it, it was Ali? It was yeah, Ali. Okay, okay. He came up to me, and he had a different tone. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> His tone was, you know, he, he congratulated me, I think, but he also said, you're a law. <laughs> Which... It You're didn't concern me, yeah. But at the I was like, oh, you know, I, I didn't, didn't even know about Sopranos at that time. But I just yeah. like, wow, it's like, okay, um, I got it, yeah. But, <laughs> but I always remembered that, yeah. You know, and and that's oh, that's uh, that's helped me in times of uh, in times of need. Mm. Uh, just straightforward. I remember, I remember I what yeah. he what he told me. You know, the, you know, the fear law, because that's yeah. At the end of the day, you know, we. we Hope for Allah's uh, pleasure and his, his, the reward from Allah. We have, yeah. we have uh, uh, we love Allah for what He's given us. Mm, mm. Uh, the, 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 the many netmas, you know, that, yeah. that we can't count, the yeah. calculable, and we fear His punishment. Mm. You know, that's one of the things I learned early. Jazakallah khair. And I still, you know, keep that yeah. uh, close in my heart. Mm. And I mm. thank the brother for telling me that. You know, just as I thank the other brothers who were so sincere in, in, mm. their, in their exuberance of, of, of my having taken shahada. Yeah. Uh, so, you know, that how was, did, that's, how, that's it. Basically. Okay. Jazakallah khair. How, how did that, uh, how did the issue, you know, the Faisal when that dawah came? Because really, <laughs> <laughs> oh, here we go. Faisal, Abu Hamza, all that kind of stuff. Because really, alhamdulillah, a lot of brothers, when alhamdulillah, the permission of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, they moved away from that that madness and there was a lot of fit in the destruction of community because that was a destructive dower. Yeah. So what, you know, how, how, how did that affect you when that hit the scene, you know? Well, when I, I the, the massive that was close to my home, um, I started going there and uh, uh, a lot of brothers. Uh, was that Dar, Dar es Salaam or? That was Dar es Salaam. Uh, okay. Yeah. Yassin, I, Yassin, I had gone Yassin, to yeah. uh, Yassin Masjid okay. on, on Cherry Street before yeah. once just as a visitor. Okay. Um, but not as a Muslim. Mm, uh, okay. And then they, they, they had to close that down for whatever reason. And then they moved over to East Union Street. Yeah. In Seattle, in the Central District. Uh, and established a masjid there called Dar es Salaam. Yeah. The imam was, uh, he was there before, was, uh, right. was forced out, mm -hmm. uh, and there was uh, other brothers who took the place of, of, of leading the khutbah, leading the salat, mm. and so forth. But these brothers, all, all of this whole master was uh, was based on, uh, they were uh, followers of uh, Jamil al -Amin. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, may Allah free him. Amin, Amin. Amin. And they were part of his jama'at. Yeah. So this, uh, but what had happened was, uh, to the best of my knowledge, uh, and Allah knows best on the veracity of this, but uh, one of the brothers, uh, one of the brothers of the brothers who started the masjid, uh, had gone over to, had taken shahada, had gone over to London, uh, and had be become basically enraptured by this dawah mm. of, of uh, Abdullah Faisal. Mm. Uh, and later on, uh, after having left Abdullah Faisal uh, to uh, uh, Abu Hamza. Because mm. of the conflict between those guys, yeah. Right. Okay. And so what he would do is he would bring back these tapes. Mm. Uh, and he had a tape dub, professional tape dubbing machine mm. uh, and would dub these tapes. And just like, you know, these, these tapes, the thing that attracted me Mm. And probably a lot of the other brothers. I really mm. can't speak for them so much, you know, because yeah. I had to speak for myself. Yeah. It was just, you know, when, as a revert coming into Islam, especially from the black community, you bring, I brought a lot of baggage, mm. you know, and I, and I brought a lot of the, of the revolutionary, you know, yeah. the stuff that I had learned. Um, okay. Uh, you know, like Malcolm X, you know, when it, and uh, Farrakhan and things like this. And, mm. the, and then, the, you know. It's the history, it's a, really. The history of Black the, the Panthers, central district everything. of Black yeah. Panthers was the second, you know, the second place where the, the, the actually the second place after the original Oakland chapter was mm. the Seattle chapter. Really? Yeah. Wow, wow. A lot I of met people, a big, a lot of people don't big know that. Panther, uh, 
yeah. leader, yeah. ex leader. Yeah, died and, some I, years and I, uh, I knew a lot of a lot of the uh, sons of those of those early Panthers. Wow. So I grew up with them. Wow. So I uh, so I had you know access to some of that you know with that that, mm. that veteran. Okay. Okay. So a lot of that I think played into it. Um, Faisal struck a chord um, with uh, with Muslims, with young Muslims, especially primarily. reverts. Yeah. yeah, particularly reverts. Yeah. You know, because you start hearing things uh, hadith like the hadith uh, about the the the, the, Mus the Muslims are like a body. Yeah. You know, when one part of the body is affected, the whole body is affected. And when you mm. have stuff like you know Bosnia was wrapping up at that time. When you have stuff like the, the southern Philippines and Mindanao, mm. the others hot, you know, obviously, Philistine, yeah. you know, uh, uh, Kashmir, ongoing. Chechnya, I think, Chechnya, a little later Chechnya or somewhere big, there. Right, yeah, really yeah. going strong at that time. Yeah. You know, you That's hear true. about these things, and of course, you know, you, uh, you, feel, you feel a solidarity because these are your brothers and sisters that are being affected, yeah. you know, in these other parts of the world. Mm. But, uh, so... That hadith and, and then them pushing Faisal and, and Abu Hamza and, and the other and others there were many Abu Qatada, others yeah, yeah. Abu Qatada, yeah, yeah, yeah. There were many others uh, you know, pushing this narrative of, of, of jihad and going for jihad uh, and, and just off top you know without any you know leader to you know mm. uh, to, to proclaim this mm. you know that, that you didn't need that and mm. you would just go and, yeah. You know, and this, that, and the third, and, yeah. the, and that the leaders were all hypocrites, or, yeah. or, or, or had made had made rid that they were they were all Catholics because yeah. of this, that, and the third. Mm. And you start, you know, because you don't know anything, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you don't know. There's there's no there's no scholars there. There's no one, even in the community that that that, that even understands these political yeah. things that no one's talking about it at any other massage. Yeah, you know, you you start uh, clutching onto this. Mm. Because it's part of the emotional baggage of having that anger, as a, at least as a black man, yeah. growing up in, in the society that, that yeah. oppressed you. Mm. Now, well, guess what? Now you have something else to be angry about. Yeah. And that's and, that, yeah. and then that's what I point. what I have always attributed it to, primarily now looking back on it in hindsight, mm. is is a lack of patience. Mm. All these shabab were that's just right. we were all, you know, and, and that's that's a fundamental function of being you. Mm. You're, 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 your you know, overzealousness it comes from impatience. Mm. You're not patient. You want yeah. things to change. Yeah. You know, and the youth are always the ones that want to change the world now. They don't want to wait. Yeah. Yeah. And, and they don't they don't always use hikma because mm. they don't have that that life experience yeah. that that, hit, that hikma comes from mm. or or elders who can uh, who they can listen to to uh, imbue that. Mm. Yeah. To absolutely. Them. Absolutely. So I, that's what I look at it now is it was a lack of patience. Mm. Um, you know, any time that anything was brought up, oh, you know, make dua, like, oh, you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, not not understanding well, that the, the dua, subhanAllah, the dua, yeah. the, that's, the, the, most, the, that's yeah. the weapon, the most important thing. Yeah. You know, I can understand it from, a, you know, from both sides now, but I understand yeah. it more fully because it's, the reality is it, it is it is the most important thing. Yeah. Um, especially when that's, that's the legal thing. That's what you can do legally yeah. in Islam. Um, you, you don't have that ability to, you know, to legally to go out with just off of your own mind yeah. or just off of a tape that you heard to go do this, that, and the third. Yeah. Um, mm. Because it's, 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 not, it's not permissible. You don't yeah. have that leader to tell you that. Right. And also the, the manner in which, you know, these, this fighting was occurring, you mm. know, was, was at, at best questionable. Because mm -hmm. there was so much, so much uh, fitness that was happening as a result of that. Yeah. You know, killing and sometimes wanton killing, yeah, and things of this nature, yeah, that was happening. Mm. But got into that, you know, make a long story short. Mm. But you know, even even traveled to London, okay, and, and saw and and I saw, and this is in '99, and I saw firsthand the the strife mm. that was happening between these groups, uh. but you know, between the groups that were followed the. Primarily Arabs that were following Abu Qatada, mm. uh, uh, Abu Hamza, mm. uh, who had gained a lot of strength at that time and had taken over the Finsbury Park Mosque, mm. and and the followers of, of uh, Abdullah Faisal. Mm. So, so they split. The Tekfiris, Tekfiru, Badhum, Badhum. Yeah. And it yeah. and it was a 
it was a thing where they were eating themselves. Mm. Mm. You know, they were, they were, uh, they might not have been making, t some of them were making takbir on others, mm. you know, and this was happening too, and this was happening in some of uh, some of Faisal's tapes, some of his yeah. later tapes, mm. you know, where he really went beyond the pale and, and started, you know, saying, you know, not only are these people Catholic, but you know, I remember famous, infamously he said, you know, if, if uh, you know, and I'm not going to mock his voice or anything like yeah. that, but he said, if you know, if, if, if you don't call this person a Catholic, you become a Catholic. Yeah. And I heard that, and I was like, crazy wow, principles, man. Distortion in Sheikh al-Islam's kalam, but anyway, yeah. yeah. Mm. So there was that, um, but really what, what um, I had begun to, to go away from it, because hearing this, this extreme stuff and, and having seen the fitna in London, yeah. because um, I had went to London with the, the, with the intention, mm. uh, possible intention in my heart to, to, to maybe go study there mm -hmm. and study that. Wow. Wow. <laughs> and alhamdulillah, I went there and I saw, and I saw that that's something I did not want it yeah. <laughs> <laughs> at all, <laughs> at all. And and the, and and right after I came back, um, Allah put uh, uh, put a situation where I could uh, I could get married. Okay. I, I had a choice on whether I could get married or not, or or to actually go overseas and mm. you know get into some more fitna. Yeah. So I made. Salat uh, al-Istikhara. No. And, and uh, you know, uh, certain things happened. Even I lost my job at that time when mm. I was when I was still in, in, intended to, to the sister. Yeah. Um, and, and she still said, she, well, you can get another job, can't you? Mm. And I said, yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. And she said, okay. Mm. And I was like, subhanAllah. And, mm. and I took that right there as a sign. Yeah. You know, that that was the path that Allah had chosen for me. Yeah, yeah. And, and this was a sister that had, that, um, had been previously married uh, mm -hmm. her, her husband had passed away mm -hmm. um, but not before she had had two children by him mm. um, uh, who, were, who were babies when, mm. when he passed okay um, one of the oldest one was just a toddler when he passed mm. and and I realized that I was that, that my jihad was going to have to be taking care of these these children mm. she had come uh, to help her sister through a, through a, a pregnancy mm. um, her children could not come and they weren't able to come we got married mm. And she wasn't able. Uh, the, the children were not able to come for uh, a couple of years, okay, uh, because of immigration policies mm. at that time. Mm -mm -mm. But in the meantime, she and I had a child, and okay. then another one was on the way okay. um, when the older brothers came, and that was in uh, May of 2001. Mm. They arrived, okay, and okay. they and they came, and their grandmother came with them. Uh, and she visited, and they they remained, and she left. Mm. Uh, and I knew that they had to be my 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 purpose. Mm, 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 mm. And I remember at the time I was living in SeaTac. Okay. Um, so the masjid had already closed down because there was all kind of yeah. madness. I remember the, there was the masjid, surveillance. Yeah. The masjid had closed. Yeah, <laughs> crazy there was, stuff. There was surveillance at that time in the early '90s, and there was. Yeah. Uh, I mean, sorry, in the in the very late '90s. Yeah. Uh, and then the then the an earthquake hit in 2000, mm. uh, and the building that the, the masjid that was in. Uh, the mash had kind of already closed at that point because they, yeah. they couldn't keep they couldn't keep they couldn't afford to pay the rent. But there was yeah. another masjid that the Somali community had built uh, mm. two doors down. Okay. But all of that had to, had to had to go mm. because the, the building became condemned. Right. After that earthquake, okay. it was an old building. I thought it was because they they did. I'd heard some of the brothers went to the Somali restaurant. There was a Somali restaurant next. Let off a few shots or <laughs> something, or pulled there out was the something straps. Like that. There was something like that too, because there was there was there was a there was a, a store. Were... There was a store right in between the the two the two uh, storefronts where the uh, the two masters were. Yeah. Where they um, where brothers were uh, were chewing cot in the back. Yeah. Okay. They were chewing cot. Yeah. yeah. And, that, and that didn't go over too well with with the, <laughs> with the reverts. Yeah. So there was static and fitna. Yeah. You know, there's and there's a that's a whole other you know story. Mm. But. At any rate, the, the master uh, closed down, and then the uh, then uh, and then the building was condemned. But then 9/11 happened, mm. and uh, it's 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 crazy. And I and I understood at that time after hearing, I mean, it really just completely solidified it for me at that time because mm. the things that I was hearing coming out of London, yeah, especially um, about 9/11. Wow. And and the. Uh, the horrific events of 9 11. Hamza, yeah, Hamza, really, uh, yeah, really, Hamza, yeah. You know, just celebrating it. You know, yeah. and I just like, yeah, yeah. 
was like, and I was after that I was done. Yeah. I was I had already I already had been done. Yeah. Really since the children came. Yeah. And I'm and even not. and even really before that, 2001 is when I really just completely mm. you know, broke up. But by, by that time. Yeah. Yeah. You know, <laughs> total total bara. <clears throat> yeah. You know, total separation. Yeah. And and never look back from that time. Mm mm mm. But even you know even though I you know I have. I completely, you know, I made, I made toba to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for, any, you know, for anything that I thought or said about the, about the scholars, you know, mm. give, especially since they passed, you know, yeah, like, they Allah give them, you know, gender out of the house and, 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 and accept the, you know, the massive good that they did for the Ummah, you know, whatever, whatever their mistakes were, there, there's nothing that I could even mention because I have, I have no knowledge in comparison. So. Yeah, that's, but, that's a net because that, that was part of their dawah was talking about how, you know, I remember coming back from Yemen and hearing the first thing certain brothers were saying that we know, you know, where your Anishids for jihad and where, and I said, well, no, I got some tapes of Sheikh Mukba, this great Sheikh there. Uh, ben Baz is this. al Bani is this. Ben Othi means a hypocrite. Scholars for dollars. I was like, Ahi, what are you talking about? You don't even know how to, you know, and that was the dawah that was being pumped. Yeah. You know, I was really shocked, yeah. you know. And this is all coming from, from, these words are all coming from brothers who couldn't speak a lick of Arabic. Probably Good. to this day, yeah, yeah, yeah. And and a li- and, I, and I mean couldn't pronounce Jahiliya. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. They're saying Jahiliya. Jahiliya. Okay. You know, thing, things like, you know, it's a lot of stab. Yeah. <laughs> but you know, this is this is the, the impatience. This is yeah. the you know the the the, the folly of, of mm. youth. Yeah. You know, to think that you know that we, that we know things and we don't know. Yeah. And the things that places that we've never been and we think that we know what's going on there. Mm. You know. Yes, we want to see change. Yeah. Yes, you know, the, the you know the, the leaders may be oppressing people, but that doesn't give us the right to say that they're you know that they're make to fear on them because yeah. major sins do not take one out of the bowl of Islam. Yeah. That's just the bottom line. That's the yeah. inescapable truth of the it. matter yeah you know and it took it took you know me you know some years to understand that mm. Mm. but alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah i did understand it right? and i understand Never. it fully now uh, and have for the, a very long time yeah but i look at those days um i won't want to say i look at them fondly but i at mm. the same time i don't i don't i don't regret yeah. in the sense uh only in the sense that it, it, it makes it, it doesn't make a lot of sense to regret yeah that's Without having gone through that fitna, yeah, that that fire, I wouldn't have come out the other side yeah. and understood that it's wrong. Yeah, yeah, you know, that's the that way. Was, that's that's the your way process. Yeah, yeah, that's really all, all, all of our steps and stages. That's our process, our mm-hmm. process of growth. Alhamdulillah, the, all those particles they make up you, those experiences. So, that's right. so that's something that's uh, yeah, we don't regret anything. It's all from the qadr of Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. Yeah. And it's a na'mah that we are who we are. We've grown and we've hopefully benefited and, you know, going hopefully in the right direction. So what what advice would you give to youth that are also going through their similar phases of, you know, now, you know, we had to deal with that. Yeah, the gang culture a bit and crazy stuff, a lot of violence and, and different things. But, you know, the youth now, they have a lot more information. But a lot more insanity, I would say. There's just crazy yeah. stuff. Like the, you say, gunplay is much it, more, you know, it's, problem. It's, it's almost too much information. And it's, yeah. It's, the, the problem is how to sift through it. Mm. Um, like, you know, for example, uh, well, not for example, I'll just say this. Mm. Uh, the advice I would give to any youth who's struggling to try to find um, themselves in this being mm. is, is um, if they can, to do what you did, to make hijra to a place where you can, where you mm. can do that, whether it's Saudi Arabia, whether it's, you know, wherever, where you can actually um, uh, sit with scholars mm. or skip, or sit with um, with, with uh, actual Talib mm. al and, and, and uh, get the knowledge that you need and be in that environment, mm. environment. away from fitna. Yeah. Because, True. And, and, I, and, I, and I think about the, the, the famous uh, story about the man who killed a hundred people, mm. where, you know, Killed 99, and, mm. he, and, he, and, he, and he asked uh, someone who was supposed to be learning mm. in the town that he was in, yeah. you know, is there is there any hope for redemption? For me? Yeah. And that person, you know, ignorantly said, No, there's no redemption for you. Mm. 
So he killed that person too. Yeah. To make it a hundred. Make it a hundred. Yeah. But then he 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 asked again because he still that that man still wanted to have some redemption. He still wanted to to make toba, but didn't know how. And he was told by someone who was not ignorant to go to to leave this town to go to somewhere else. Mm -hmm. You know, so you know, it's an ostensibly for somewhere where you're not known, basically mm -hmm. where you can start over again. Yeah. And it, it's also a sign of your intention. You mm -hmm. want to leave the place where, where, where you're known for all this fitness and all this, this strife that you've caused mm -hmm. to start a new life. So, you know, make that your intention and go and do it. Mm -hmm. So the man set off on that journey. And when he got, I believe it's like one step past the halfway point. Yeah between where he was and where he was headed to, mm. you know, the, the, uh, the angel of death came and claimed his soul. Yeah. And, uh, and, and I don't know if this is a correct uh, 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 part of the story, but mm. my understanding is that the angels were arguing over whether yeah. or not to, to, you know, to, he was, was going to go to hell or go to Jannah. Mm. Uh, and, and they were told by Allah SWT, you know, to, to measure where, you know, how far, and they said, you know, he's one step further to take yeah. it to, and, and, you know, to, Going to, so he's going to Jannah. No. So Allah accepted his, you know, his tawbah. Yeah. And and that's and that's the point. You have to do something to get yourself out of the situation, whatever you can. And it, it depends, obviously, on the on the on the level of fitna that you're in, the level yeah. of strife that you're in. Uh. If it's that bad, yeah. where you can't where you can't practice your deen, or if you can't learn the things about your deen that that are going to be beneficial to you. Yeah. Because being because the thing that's beneficial to someone learning, learning their dean is not whether or not the leaders are Catholics. Mm -hmm. It's not yeah. learning about whether you know every single little point of of, of jihad mm -hmm. that may or may not and probably does not apply to them. Yeah. What matters is whether or not you can make your wudu correctly. It mm -hmm. matters whether or not you can do your 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 prayer your prayers correctly. Mm -hmm. Whether or not you can say your prayers in Arabic, you know, yeah. which is the the correct manner in which to do it. Mm -hmm. Learning Arabic in and of itself which i still have to do mm. you know but i know the arabic that i do just from listening to all the tapes i've listened to but mm. that's it but the conversational yeah. arabic i don't know it's still yeah. to this day right these are the things that i the only things that i regret mm. if and, and, and someone who's in the same type of position that i was in when i was a youth mm. um i would say go and learn those things and yeah. sit with people who are upon those things to really teach you the basics of Islam so that you have a firm foundation because mm. when you have that you know it'll be much more difficult for shaitan to go up and have a party inside your head yeah. telling you to go and do this and that and the third which is going to lead you away That's from right. the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Jazakallah khairan a last last question uh, so what would you give as advice for people who are growing through their Islam that are reverts because we've, we've done it you know we've uh, we've seen so many of our brothers and sisters who were neglected, a lot of times a lack of knowledge, we've seen brothers go from Islam to being agent, from Islam to being Buddhist, you know, I'm seeing, you know, possibly sisters that are witches now, or paganism, you know, how do you go from Tawheed to that, you know, is what I'm asking myself, but, so what would you say for a person just to stay Muslim, what is one of the most important things that helped you on your journey? The thing that helped me the most staying Muslim on my journey was the fact that, that Allah sent me a, a wonderful woman to get married to. Allah who was from who was who was from a Muslim country, uh, who is from a Muslim country, and uh, and, and, and was firm on her deen mm. uh, and praying, and made me want to be a better person. And in fact, you know, uh, was the was the epitome of to me of the of the hadith uh, uh, that that uh, getting that marriage is half of our deen. Mm. To me, that 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 represents. Um, being half of your deen, meaning that you, 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 you connect with a, another soul, another one of the laws creation that you can procreate with, mm. uh, but whether you do or not, um, that you can that you uh, that can that can call you out on your on your nonsense. Yeah, you know, and and, and, yeah. and you and and the, and can make you want to be better in your deen, to be closer to Allah. Someone that you can that when you that when you when you uh, supplicate to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you can thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for giving you this person, you know, to be with, to, to be uh, a companion with. Mm. Um, and, and it's very important, and I'll say this definitely, because I saw when I was coming up in my early Islam, you know, brothers getting married left, right, and center, you know, yeah. getting married, then getting divorced, getting yeah. married, getting divorced, you know, trying to have two and three wives in, in a country that doesn't allow it. 
Mm. Um, and, and, and I'm not and I'm not taking anything away from the the, the hukum of Allah. It's it's allowed, but um, but same, you need the means. You need yeah, to be able to afford you, it. You, you need know, the you means. Be able to take care of your family. Yeah. yeah. And, yeah. and and just for me personally, and Allah knows best. You yeah. Know, in a country where it's, where it's not allowed, I, I wouldn't recommend it just because. Yeah. Um, uh, you, Part of part of being married in Islam is that the people, the community, has to know that you're married. And if yeah. you're married to if you're married to multiple, you know, women, they have to know that too. You can't do that in this country. You can't do that because it, because then you got to be underground because it's because it's it's illegal, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm not saying it becomes illegal in Islam, but because of the fact it's illegal here, it maybe it's maybe not the best situation, and and especially since you can't. <laughs> I think that's the to biggest live, issue. To live, is, uh, you know, yeah. to, 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 trying to take care of multiple living, families if you can. It's just know. really But if you have the really ability, hard. alhamdulillah. If you have the yeah. ability, alhamdulillah. But, 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 be, but I say be very wary and don't let your nafs tell you what you have and have, you know, your, yeah. your ability. That's just, that, that would be my warning. Mm. But, main, but mainly, just the bottom line is um, try to get married as, as, as early as you can mm. within your means mm. and very, very. Um, you want to get married to a, a uh, to a sister or a sister to a brother, who's on the dean, who's on the dean. And I'm not talking about menhaj and all this stuff so much. Mm. I'm talking about someone who, who was who was resolute about praying, mm. who's resolute about reading Quran, who's resolute about learning and excelling in the dean. You know, doing better. You know this Ramadan, yeah. then, then he or she did the last Ramadan. You know the other stuff, the manhaj and all that stuff. That that's part of it too. But of I course. think that that's I think that that's slightly well, more secondary to to a degree. But mm. but when it comes to aqidah and things like this, yes, yeah. you have to have that's yeah, correct. You know, that, aqidah is very yeah this absolutely. Is, this is the basis of Islamic faith. Yeah. You have yeah. to have these things. And growing up in the West and, and being a Muslim in the West. Can be very difficult because you're in a minority situation. Yeah, it's imperative if you can to get with a community that's a solid community. Yeah, a community where you can you can be a part of and that's going to embrace you. Yeah, um, uh, Islam is not a religion where we go off by ourselves and we're just by ourselves in the middle of nowhere being Muslim. Yeah. You know, if, if that's your situation, that's your situation. But if uh, if at all possible, you Community is important. You want to be part of the community. Yeah. This, this dean, yeah. you're part of the ummah. Companionship is very important. Yeah. yeah. The, the ummah, the larger ummah is the world community of Muslims. The smaller ummah is the, is the community of Muslims in, in your locality. Yeah. And you want to be around others because for the same reason, you want to be around people who are better than you, or at yeah. least, you know, the law knows best. People who, who make you want to pray more, who make mm. you want to, you know, and, and people who you can learn underneath. Yeah. You know, Just, and if you can't make hijra to, to, the, to a place where you can, get that anywhere. Mm -mm -mm. Allah, you better yeah, thank for your time I mean, you know, and your wisdom and experience, man. This has been a pleasure and uh, I look forward to more hikes and, yeah, yes. <laughs> and, 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 yes. and more uh, outings. So, Jazakallah khairan. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.